my name is Megat Ahmad Farhan and I'll be talking about the facts of the case. The plaintiffs are owners of five parcels of land, namely Grand 8503, which original area was approximately 13 acres, and second one was Grand uh, 85007, which original area was approximately 17 acres, and the third one, Grand 85008, which original area was approximately 19 acres. Grand 8509, which originally was approximately 11 acres and and then the last one grand 83796 which originally was approximately 25 acres and these are the lands that owned by the plaintiffs the defendants defense that the allegedly overutilized land amounting to 3.7373 acres has reverted and vested in the state authority and hence there is no trespass while the 16.7895 acres used as floodplain is water reserve, therefore seemingly no trespass is being committed. The first defendant acquired some parts of the land from the previous owner in stages from 1967 till 1982 to construct an earth embankment along Sungai Pingang and realignment of the same. While the second plaintiff purchased part of lot 2193 in 2013, it is not disputed that when the plaintiffs purchased the land, there were no new titles issued after plaintiffs acquired the same. Trespass to land is the intentional and unauthorized invention of real property. The relevant intent for this claim is the intent to enter the property. So, a person who unknowingly crosses from his own property to an adjacent plot may be liable for trespass even if he did not know that the land belonged to another. Trespass to land may occur when a person or object, such as leader, enters the property. In this case, the plaintiffs are owner of five parcels in Pontian Johor under the name with assigned authority. Moving on, the defendant was sued inter alia. Upon reading the case, free pass has been proven with the evidence from government officials that represent PTP, JPSP and the Pelan Pelan Akui, issued by and approved by the Pengarah Jabatan Uko Johor. Clear proof of Overutilization and trespass of the 3.7373 10 MLJ1 at 15 acres and trespass over the 16.7895 acres of the land belonging to the plaintiff. By law, Article 13 of the Federation Constitution stated that no person should be deprived of property safe in accordance with law. A person commit to trespass to land, he or she is liable for damage with certain circumstances. Section 5 of NLC 1965 stated that land included not only the soil itself but things under the soil and building or houses. For instance, in this case, plaintiff is liable for trespass over 16.7895 acres by using those as plot plain. The judge held the case as said is worse not only the appellant committed trespass on the said land when the respondent took possession of the land but the excavation by the appellant which seriously affected the said land was never remedied which rendered part of the land useless. This is already be proven that the plaintiff committed trespass not only by entering the and by proceed to run business without any concern. As for the judgment, the defendant committed trespass over the land and is subjected to National Code subsection 49 and 302A. The damage is proven by overutilization of the acres, trespass over acres by using those acres as flatland. Damage for loss of future income from the oil palm plantation and coconut, aggravated and exemplary damages, and also costs.
Therefore, the first defendant is liable and third defendant vicariously liable over the acts of the first defendant. And by the power of Abdul Majid JC, he subjected the plaintiffs with general damages to be awarded with the cost of RM 100,000.